Hey, what's up guys? This is Aaron from Dad.0. Oh. Today we're going to be taking a look at a rather unique product from BenQ. This is their JV30 portable projector. It's got this unique wheel-shaped design, and I'm going to walk you through it, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it after using it for a couple months. When you take it out of the box, you can see here you actually get a really nice carrying case with this, which is a nice addition for a portable projector, specifically one with this kind of design, the unique design. Not sure many carrying cases would fit it. Taking the projector out, honestly, my first thoughts was that it feels like just a portable speaker. It's nice and lightweight. It feels well put together. And then you get the base. And at first, you're kind of like, how do these things connect to each other? But then when you put the projector over the base, you can see that it's actually a magnetic magnetic connection, which is kind of a cool idea. You can easily remove the base and pack it away and store it, and the base allows it to rotate pretty smoothly. Now I will say that the connection is not all that strong. Definitely do not try to pick it up by the base, and you gotta kind of be careful rotating it on the base because it might slip off. I've actually had a few accidents of it sliding off and falling myself, so I do wish it was a little bit stronger connection. And the other thing you get in the box is this BenQ player that has Chromecast and Android TV built in. This is something I kind of wish that they would just pre-install for you because you actually have to take a pick that's included in the box and then you have to take that pick and slide it around the edge of one of the sides of the projector until you're able to pry it off which honestly took a few tries because it is pretty stiff and then once it's open you can then install the player into the HDMI port and connect it to the power and if you're wondering if you can use a different type of player like maybe a Roku streaming stick or an Amazon Fire streaming stick I tried with a Roku that I had and the power supply was on the wrong side so it didn't fit I'm not sure about an Amazon streaming stick but it seems like this is built just for this BenQ player. Now the nice thing is that they did add different inputs to the other side of the projector. You have an HDMI port, you have a USB-C display port, a headphone jack, and you have your power supply input. The bummer here is that there is no USB-A. So again, if you're trying to connect a streaming stick that uses USB-A for power, you're gonna have to find a different source for power. On top of the projector, you have your power button, you have volume up and down, and then you have a Bluetooth connection button so you can pair up external speakers to this, which honestly, you probably don't even need because the speakers on this are so good, but more on that in a minute. And then the other thing is just this leather loop that allows you to easily pick it up and bring it on the go or to rotate it on the base. The last thing I wanna mention is that you do get a really nice remote included in the box. Now, after you get the BenQ player installed, setup is really simple. You just flip it on, and if you've ever used Android TV before, you're gonna be up and running in just a few minutes. You simply just connect your Gmail account, you set up your Wi-Fi, go through a couple other settings, and then you just start downloading and connecting your streaming apps like you would on any other player. So that kind of covers what you get and how it's set up. Let's go over the features and how those features have performed for me over the past few months. I think first and foremost, and what most people are wondering is how is the image quality on this projector? Now, I'll admit at first, when I saw it was only 720p native resolution, I was really concerned that the image quality would not be great. But when it comes to projectors, there's so many different factors that go into image quality. Things like brightness of the projector, the color display, the contrast, the lens quality, the distance and the size of the display area, the lighting and the environment, that you're using it in, along with getting the right focus and vertical keystone, all of these things play a huge factor in getting the best image quality. And the nice thing about the GV30 is it does have auto focus and auto keystone on it. And this is really nice for a portable projector because you're most likely going to set this up in different places. This will auto focus and give you a nice rectangular picture without you having to do anything. In terms of image quality, listen, for a 720p projector, I think it's pretty good. Now that's only if you keep it, I would say up to 100 inches. If you start getting bigger than that, everything does get pretty pixelated but if you keep it smaller than that I think everything looks very clear the images are bright they're vivid with great colors the texts are easy to read and it's just a very enjoyable experience no matter if you're watching movies TV shows or even sports I have seen a lot of reviewers mention that it doesn't get very bright with only 300 lumens it's certainly not going to be the brightest projector out there specifically if you want to try to use this outside you really have to wait till it's dark out using it inside you can get away in a room with a little bit of light bleed and be just fine. Obviously, the darker the room, the better the experience, and that goes for all projectors. Overall, I wouldn't say it's horrible, but certainly it doesn't get as bright as some of the projectors out there. In terms of speakers, like I said earlier, this is where this product really shines. It has a built-in 2.1 channel audio with dual 4-watt mid-range tweeters and an 8-watt woofer. I typically only have to keep this at about a quarter volume to hear things perfect. If you turn it up louder, you're going to get some nice big bass if you're watching action movies. Voices are very clear and easy to understand. All in all, for a portable projector, this is probably the best sound system that you can get. But if you do want to connect it to external speakers, you do have that Bluetooth option. When it comes to the battery life, 
they quote two and a half hours. Now that's if you're using pretty power efficient settings with low brightness and low volume. If you're using this at medium brightness and an average volume, you can expect around two hours of battery life, which is right around the length of most movies these days. So you're kind of chancing it if you don't bring the power cord with you. We've watched a bunch of movies and towards the end, we do get that low battery notification. So if what you're watching is gonna be two hours or more, I would highly recommend bringing the power cord with you. I think another cool feature of this projector is its portability and how adaptable it is. Obviously with this design, they're really hoping that you take this on the go, you pick it up, you bring it with you, and you can rotate the screen and put it just about anywhere. It has that 135 degree projection angle that you can easily rotate. And for us, it has been a really great feature. Specifically with my kids, we oftentimes do movie nights in my daughter's bedroom, and it's super easy just to bring in the projector, set it up on the nightstand, and easily project it onto the ceiling. And then when we are sick of looking up, we just spin it around, rotate it down, and project it onto the wall. It is a really cool feature that I do love about this projector. Another kind of cool feature is that with the Bluetooth, you can actually connect your phone to the projector and use this as a portable speaker to play your music. Now, we personally never used it for that because this is kind of an expensive portable speaker, but I can see this being useful if you're taking this like camping or on a trip somewhere. If you don't wanna bring both the projector and the portable speaker to play your music, this can act as kind of a two-in-one for you. Last thing I think a lot of people are wondering about is fan noise because that can be an issue with projectors. The fan noise is pretty minimal, especially when you consider how good the speakers are. A lot of times you can hear the fan noise just because the speakers in these portable projectors are so terrible. However, that's not the case with this one. If you're sitting close enough to it, you can definitely hear the fan, but I wouldn't consider it loud at all and it doesn't hinder the audio at all. So considering all those things and the fact that this sells for in between $550 and $600 US, do I think it's worth it? It kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you're going to truly take advantage of all the different aspects of this projector, if you're going to use it as a portable speaker as well as a portable projector, if you truly want something that you can bring from room to room and project on the ceiling or project on the wall, if you're going to use that adaptability of this, then I would say yes, I think this is a fantastic portable projector and we've really enjoyed our time with it. However, if you're looking for more of a home theater setup, something that's going to probably stay in one place most of the time, I think for the money you can get a lot better specs. Specifically something that has a higher native resolution and more brightness, but I still think that this is a fantastic projector. It just might be a little bit overpriced. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content, and like always, I'll see you in the next video.